In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a Gantt chart manually in PowerPoint. Uh, this is the first video on Gantt chart, which I'm going to show you to do it manually. And I'm going to make another video where we can do it through Excel and that can be uh, managed better. So here the manual Gantt chart, I have put three months activity here. And on the left side, I've put all the market research, all the tasks from market research to the documentation. And it will, tell me, it will tell us, okay, how much time each activity will take and who is it responsible for that. And then I've added a, a milestones flag for that. So let's see how to do a Gantt chart manually in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and insert the table. To insert the table, go to Insert tab select the tables and there are three ways you can add the table first one is you can directly select the number of rows and columns you need and then you have got uh, insert table and draw table so i'm going to use the insert table insert table i'm saying that i need uh, 13 columns and number of rows i need 10 and just say okay so it has created this particular table with 13 columns and 10 rows i'm going to make the width of almost this size and then i'm going to select this and go to layout and here i can just select for example say the first one i want the width to be 2.13 And this one I can reduce it you can reduce like this say I'll say that point 0.9 I need and if you want you can increase the width also for example I can say 0.5 so my basic table is ready now now I'm going to remove this color and I'm going to put white here so select the whole table you can go to design and you can select the point so let it be one point and the pen color let it be black and then I comes to border here and I'm going to select this one all borders and shading just say either you can say no fill or you can just make it a white so this is how it looks so here instead of black i can use the border i'm going to select the pen color maybe this one and border again i'm going to click so it becomes a light gray linings then i'm going to type here week one and reduce the size go to home select these columns or this row and just reduce the size and make it center align or you can go to design or the layout also you can select this one which is this here alignment center and this one and then this is week two week three and week four so in a month we have got four weeks so i'm just going to copy this this is for the three months i'm going to use Control c and Control v again Control c and Control v so you have got week one then this first three weeks i'm going to merge the cell just click select this four particular cells and just say merge cell here and then again you can do the same thing center and align so this one will be the for example first month or later on i'm going to type it and this also i'm just going to select the first this one again merge cells click on both of these columns and this also merge cells and this two then you can select each of these for example this particular column you can go to design shading which shading you need for example i want this color for the second month i need this color and for the third month say i need this color and then you can type here for example 
say this is Jan and the year you can type also February and March and this also color if you like you can change it and in the background I'm just going to select the background go to format background and I'm going to give some light gray color here you can see here and then all the other your titles should come here title 01 and again select all these things reduce the size make it bold and go to design you can give a light color here dark color or maybe you can use some darker color and the text color to be white font size to be white font size you can make it 16 font color to be white and again you can go to design or layout you can select this or this then type all your titles here so here instead of typing title one i can just simply come to this and select this information and you can just simply delete this and paste it so i've just pasted this and for example i don't want this to be visible the lines again i can go to layout or the design and i'll just say no borders for this so it will be blank here but there is a border i required for this let me just select all borders again okay so the border is there for this and then you can start adding your milestones or the which week to which week the market research for that i can go to insert shapes and I can select this one block arrows arrows pentagon and just draw this arrow like this for example market research I want to do in January from week 1 to week 3 I can just select this shape outline make it no outline and then you can choose any good color you like to use it for example I want to use say purple then for this you can enter the date for example i don't want to do it from week one to week three i can just simply reduce it and then you can type the date here from which date to which date you want to do it make it a smaller size and then once this is done the specifications i need to do once the market research done so this will continue from week two to week three example then the planning phase will come i'll just select this control d the planning should start after we finish the market research and specifications and this should this will go for say uh, three weeks and this for planning i need to change i want to change the color to use some different color for example i'm going to use this one then once the planning is done or the planning is halfway through i can do the the designing part so designing will also go for three weeks then the development will start development again halfway through or once this is done i'm going to start the development for development again i'm going to select some different color here again control d once development done i'm going to start the training part and then assessment and implementation control d so like this you can make your gan chart and then you can put some milestones for the milestone you can go to insert icons this flag and just say insert 
and reduce the size. I need to put milestone after the specification. Again, control D. I want to after I want to do make it after development and then after the uh, training. So you can see here our simple uh, GAN chart is ready. And then you can say that okay, who is going to do? For example, this is the team A. I'm going to select this one. I will just say this is team A is going to do this. And this part, control D, it's going to do by team B. This is the legend actually I'm adding. And then control T, this one. This is going to do by the team C. So you can see here, I've just added the legend. If you want this also, you can select control D and say this is your, go to insert text box and say milestones. So this is the simplest way you can add, you can make your uh, Gantt chart manually. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.